Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. By the way, ni kama tumeamia kwang. We've actually been set on fire and we are back to her farm. So last time we realized we just did a part of it and today we have come back to do more because we can't exhaust what this girl is doing she's doing amazing things in the farm and we are here to learn all of it so we are not tired to take the journeys to come to kitengela all the way to learn more and also to bring you our viewers this content which is very relevant and very useful to you so today we're going to learn mushroom farming and that's why I took the journey to come all the way because mushrooms, the Zilini Excite, by the way, I love eating mushrooms. You've seen me cook mushrooms on my channel. So today I came to the sauce. This is the api. Wangari will tell us. And so, Karibu Sana, farm on fire <laughs> and set us on fire. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Thank you again. And thank you for having me on your platform. I really appreciate it, Nyabura. Karibu. Hey, so today we're going to discuss Mushroom farming. Um, this I'm going to give you in terms of the hard way and the short way. Because okay. remember, we are urbanites. We have to always have that conversation of is there an easier way of still me growing my own mushrooms? Mm. Yes. So there is two ways. You can get it when it's already colonized. Mm. So that way you just put it on your kitchen sink up. Mm. You could spray to maji na kuchuna and then you just cook it. Wow. Which is so much easier. That's yeah. Exactly. Plug and play. We have plug and play options here as okay. well. So basically when you see these drums mm. These are for cooking mushrooms. And you're wondering, <laughs> how <laughs> nani watakula hizi? <laughs> now, so, mushroom is a fungus. It's not a plant. Because okay. a plant has parts of a plant. You remember yes, science? Yes. Yeah, flower, root, stem, mm. leaves. So for uh, mushrooms, it's a fungus. It doesn't have those parts. So in that, it means it grows on soilless it's a type of soilless agriculture, okay. which is very good even when you're having these climate conditions discussions mm -hmm. because it doesn't depend on so many other things that are depleting our resources mm -hmm. because it, it can just grow in any conditions as long as you get them right. Okay. So you take wheat straw, mm -hmm. but you can substitute even with maize, maize dry straw. maize straw. You can use bean straw. Anything that you're seeing is dry matter in your farm, even banana leaves, you can use that. And then now you put it them here, you cook them. It is a sterilization process. Mm -hmm. While you're doing this, it's because you're trying to remove any competing thing that can grow because oh, you just yeah. want the mushroom you to grow. You just want one fungus yes. inside there. Yes, yes. Great. Hey. Yeah, so if fungus to kisha pick a straw, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then what do we do next? Where do we, we go? We put it here. Mm -hmm. It boils for at least two hours. It's mm -hmm. steaming. It's not really cooking. Boiling, yeah. Hey. So the water in Africa, apple, but then you, you, you steam the rest of... The, the dry matter, mm -hmm. and then you leave it out overnight to cool. Okay. If you put the seeds when it's hot, <laughs> the seed the will be burnt. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so in the morning, yeah. when it's cool, mm -hmm. and you put it in the house, don't put it here because then it will get infected yeah. again. Mm -hmm. So you pack it into the bags and then you add the seed. Once okay. you add the seed, you leave it in the incubation house. Incubation, mm -hmm. I don't to an issue eggs. incubation. Eh. <laughs> so, so, turn the, as I tell you. So incubation mm -hmm. is a way of... Like letting the seeds hatch or something? Yes, <laughs> when you that. think of incubation, you think of chicken and <laughs> yeah, eggs, and eggs right? hatching. Eh. Yeah. So this is the incubation house. As you can see, is a mabati structure mm -hmm. that just makes sure that there is enough warmth. Okay. And so after you've put the seeds, mm -hmm. are we going to fit all of us here? Karibu sana? Yeah. Yes. So this white thing you're seeing at the top is mm -hmm. where we put the seed. Mm -hmm. And the rest is just the dry matter. Okay. So what you're seeing is that the white has started to become more white. It looks mm -hmm. like cotton wool. Yeah. It means it's working. Ah. So it's going to spread and eat the entire straw. Wow. Yes. So how long does that take? That takes four weeks. Wow. For it to move from here up to there, eventually to become all white. Ah. Then, you know, it's time to start fruiting. Wow. Yes. So the fruiting happens in a different place. Yes, and you're because going to show us that. of temperature, theirs have to be cooler. Ah. That's why you find mm. when we are in the village, when it rains, mm -hmm. you see the mushroom has popped up. Yeah. But then if it's too hot, it doesn't they come. die. Yes, they start mm -hmm. drying up. So if it stays um, like in the 
rainy season for longer, you'll mm-hmm. find there's more mushroom. If you find ah. very cool places, mountainous places, you find mushroom almost all year round. It's because of temperature control. You have to know how okay. to play with temperature. Nice. Yes. So the mabati structure helps with the incubation period. Yes, yes. So as we move to the fruiting se- period, you mm. say we need a cooler structure. Yes. So show us the cooler structure. Let me show you the cooler <laughs> structure. <laughs> So we can just stop here for a minute. This mm-hmm. used to be our fruiting structure for mushrooms okay. when we were doing the other button ones, which mm-hmm. are more popular. Mm-hmm. But then we realized mm-hmm. if we grow oyster, it's easier for us mm-hmm. and it's almost guaranteed in terms of performance. Wow. Mushrooms are very delicate. Most mm-hmm. of them fail. If you listen to most mushroom farmers, mm-hmm. they give up on their way because of competing fungus that come and eat what you're trying to grow. Mm-hmm. So we used to do button mushroom here. Mm-hmm. When you can see it's a very big structure, but we build it ourselves with my son. Yes, their photos <laughs> looks like fun and to that. build. It's very much fun. The village in you could not yes, let you not yes, 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 yes. <laughs> and and at some point, mm. I'm inside the drum, kneading the, the mud. The mud. Yeah. So much fun. fun. Yeah. But also, I didn't have money. Mm-hmm. Let's also have the conversation that. What do people do when they don't have money to True. start something? Mm. But then an idea like this, it's mm. something that is doable. Even without that. Yes, mud. yes, yes. So we, this was just mud yes. and some wood. Yes, yes, just ah. that. And uh, when we realized the mud has started falling, now that's when later we reinforced with, with this. The wire. Because you're supposed to use red soil or clay. Mm. Here we have black cotton, <laughs> it disintegrates very physically. <laughs> like, yes. we have to make it work. We, we have to always look work. for a perfect setting. Yes. People yeah. told me, Wangare, you mm. get, don't even try, you have to import soil from Kiambu. And how much is that truck? 18,000. I was like, um, <laughs> See, nah. This will have to work. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. So, so, this is the new one. Mm-hmm. It's more efficient, it's smaller, and it still holds capacity. Wow, yes. So, we can go inside and have. It. This one we also built it ourselves. Mm. It's not complex. There yeah, is no true. foundation. Yes. yes, you just put the rocks on top of each other. Mm. You add concrete. True. Yes. So DIY. <laughs> this is DIY. Karibu <laughs> Kwatika Mushroom <Sana>. House. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just take one. Mm-hmm. You see. So this is a fully colonized mushroom bag. Ah, okay. You see how it's white. Mm. It means that. The the fungus mm. has colonized the, the, the all the straws, yes. Ah. Uh, and why it's spongy, mm. it means we are supposed to have thrown it away a long time ago ah. because it's finished fruiting. It mm. fruits here for six weeks. Okay. Then you throw it into the farm to become part of um, that. Mm. But mm. as you can see, mm. even, even it has decomposed almost completely, mm-hmm. given that yeah. this is very just, hard straw. Yeah. True. Yes, so, so this is how it looks. I white. grow mushrooms, mm. I get manure. Okay, manure excites me, people. <laughs> <laughs> manure excites all organic, organic gardeners. Yes, yeah, so yes. I get food, I get manure. I mm. mean, why are you not doing organic yes. farming, by yes. the way? Why? And this is what I'm saying, <laughs> plug and play. When you buy from us this one, immediately it comes from the incubation house because that's the most delicate part. Mm. Once it's colonized, mm. you can put it anywhere wow. as long as it's cool. You can see we are trying to mimic refrigeration kind of yeah, I see you the... pour water on the floor mm. it's cool on the sides it's mud or concrete and mm. then a lot of ventilation even the door is ventilated oh, nice. yeah so that's the only thing but in that house it's delicate there mm. they can feel okay. but here now we can sell to you the mushroom bags mm. you just buy three or four mm. and you just be plucking every day Sounds like a dream. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you not plucking mushrooms from your kitchen? <laughs> Let's Call one, girl. <laughs> we have some. Yeah, let's pluck some. Yeah. So. Uh, so this small house mm. fits 200 bags. Wow. Eh, yeah, because you just need to pile them. But yeah, let's So no ahead. space gardening, mushroom farming is your plug. Exactly. <laughs> if you have a square bedroom, yeah. empty nest syndrome, <laughs> this is your <laughs> Yeah. So why are you yes. keeping a bedroom for visitors, by the way? They come once a year. Yes. Ebu panda mushroom. Panda mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> Make some money as yeah. well and eat healthy. Yeah. Actually, mushrooms is a super food. Yeah. It has a lot of micronutrients because most of our food 
has macro yeah. which is carbohydrates uh, vitamins mm-hmm. and proteins mm-hmm. but this one has those magnesium sodium yeah, they need true. those ones which are very critical in boosting your yeah, immunity true. and mushroom yes. is very easy to eat it's, it's and easy to cook five like minutes. chicken <laughs> <It does>. legit <laughs> legit <laughs> vegan chicken <laughs> you cook for us this one then we... i have to uh, i can't yes. skip the ki- the kitchen yeah, right. so you just twist you can just pluck this one you just taste like this. a Ish. mushroom farmer <laughs> <laughs> remove that one cuz i'm seeing your in the toilet full okay yes. nice mm. so, so this is enough for us yes that's yeah. a lot yeah, it's then a lot. you just spray some more water mm-hmm. and tomorrow you find you them more sprouting. mushroom yes okay. Okay. for six weeks proteins <laughs> mushrooms and a spare bedroom think about that <laughs> <laughs> and as you can see it's the size of yeah. i call it a latrine the size of a latrine yeah yes. true so, so th- thank you angari mimi hakuna spare bedroom kwangu tena naenda kupanda mushrooms so thank you so much for this this is a lesson you will pay thousands to get yeah. and she graciously gave it to us for free What else can a girl do for you? 2021 <laughs> gift of the year. So thank you so much for telling us all this information. We are so glad. We are so honored to even have hosted you and you graciously took us to your mushroom farm, taught us everything we don't take it for granted. So viewers, please go subscribe to our channel. Go like her on Instagram, <laughs> follow her on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. By the way, she's She's the girl. She's the girl you need. <laughs> Organic farmers, she's the girl you need. She has a wealth of information. So please follow her. Also follow me, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like, comment and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching this video. Always remember if you have a vision, add some passion. I'll see you in the next one.